How you YouTube, Engineer Number 100. Well, as many of you know, I've been anxiously waiting for the arrival of my custom-made steering wheel for my, my 996 Turbo. I cannot believe how excited I am about this simple thing, this addition. Um, a lot of you have expressed a desire to maybe, you know, get one too, and I'm gonna share the whole journey with you. When, I think that's the mailman. I did, it's here! <laughs> Well, UPS just rang. Let's see what we've got here. Oh God, I'm excited. There she is. Let's get that inside and see what's inside. <laughs> oh my goodness. What do we have? Oh, that's it. Airbag goes. It smells very rubbery. That looks great. Man, it feels solid too. Well made. Carbon fiber is deep and rich too. So yeah. This is good. 10 and 2. Trailer shifting. Okay. I'm stoked. Get that airbag in there and make sure we mark it and line everything up. This is gonna be fun. Fun little addition. Hi guys, engine number 100 here. Well, my steering wheel finally made it. It's exciting. I'm really excited to share this story with you guys. I'm excited to share how I got the steering wheel, how to install it, and how it feels to drive with it. But the best way to share the story, I guess, is to start at the beginning, so that's what I'll do. I first was motivated to try and get a replacement steering wheel because of you guys clowning on my wrinkled steering wheel cover, which I like the way it looks, I like the way it feels, but everybody was complaining about it everywhere on Facebook, on the forums, on my YouTube channel. Everybody was complaining about my YouTube, my, my, my steering wheel was not befitting to a Porsche. So I got into the mode of looking for a replacement. And that's where Matt Ross came in. And thanks to Matt Ross, I have this awesome 996, check it out, t shirt today. Thanks, Matt. Go over to his channel, check him out. He's got a great channel. And he does one of the best 996 restoration uh, video series I've ever seen on YouTube. So check him and his yellow uh, Porsche out. But uh, his steering wheel, check it out, was so awesome. His steering wheel was so awesome. I decided I wanted something similar. Now my car is not yellow. So the color scheme for my car is black and silver and white. So I decided instead of a yellow stripe, I would go ahead and get black stitching and a white stripe. So that's what I got, and I'm gonna let you uh, check my string wheel out, watch me install it, and, and go for a drive. But before I share with you where I got it and how I got it, let me share with you how I got it. So I found this steering wheel um, at the same shop that Matt got his, and it was just too expensive for me. I just can't look at like $2,700, uh, $3,000, I just was too expensive. I'm cheap, as many of you well know. So I, I looked around on the internet and I found one on Alibaba, okay? 
And the price has gone up since I bought mine, a couple hundred bucks actually, but it's still less than 27 or 1700 bucks. Mine out the door was like 1075. I'll show you the breakdown later, but mine was about 1075 after. This is after tax, after customs, after shipping, after the customer day, everything out the door, all in, about 10, a little under 1100 bucks. So, up front, uh, there you have it. But before you jump on the bandwagon and think you want to get one, you got to hear this story of how I got mine. Now, disclaimer right up front I don't fault the seller about what I'm getting ready to tell you. I don't fault the seller. I, the seller was excellent, they communicated excellent, and they ultimately delivered a beautiful product. But the process was, let's just say, an emotional roller coaster. This is what happened. I, I ordered my steering wheel and I waited for about three weeks. I waited one week, I waited two weeks, I waited three weeks and then they contacted me via email saying, we can't find a core, we're going to need more time or we can give you a refund. So I said, ah, I don't want a refund. Fine, you need more time, you got more time. We got plenty of time, there's no rush. I don't rush anyway, this, this kind of stuff. So, the next day, more time had passed and they said, we can't find a core, we need you to cancel the order. So I did. I canceled the order and I was really disappointed and I just sat around for a while and I thought, well, if they can't find a core, what if I find a core and send it to them? So I messaged them. Hey, if I get you guys a core, can you guys make me the steering wheel? They said, sure, you get us a core, no problem. You have to specify when you ship it that it is a skeleton wheel. It is a skeleton wheel. You can't call it anything else or you're going to get dinged. Massive customs, as I found out. Even though I called it the correct thing, I found out you can get massively smashed with three times the price of the steering wheel in customs. Yes. So, um, I poked around, I poked around, and ultimately I found one through you guys on Facebook. One of my Facebook buddies, check him out. Wonderful man who's helped me get this steering wheel over to China. He's shipping it from the UK. Say hi. Hello, hello. <laughs> awesome, thank you. Hopefully we get this done, and I'm going to keep everybody posted. I'm going to put this in the video. Of the review if I ever get this steering wheel so thanks for your help appreciate it okay so he was awesome he was in the UK so the steering wheel was already almost to China I got this steering wheel made in China and I'll share the company and everything with you and some cards at the end um, but it was almost already almost in China in, in China so that's even better than me shipping it from here so I got the steering wheel from him 300 bucks he shipped it for me, he kept me updated, he gave me plenty of pictures of the progress of the shipping, as you can see. And um, it got there via UPS. And that's when things started going south again. I got an email from UPS. You go customs. Like, I don't post it up. It's like 900 something dollars. I'm like, oh man. Deal's off. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of cutting my losses here. And so I contacted the seller. They called it UPS, they ironed it out, explained what it was, and they readjusted the price back down. And I think it was like 97 bucks. Okay, so the deal's back on. So, long story short, they went ahead, finished up the, um, the wheel, and I got it in about a month. So now let's go ahead and check it out up close. I'll install it, and we'll go for it. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of a recap for you guys. Let you see the box. We saw this before. Um, it came in really nice foam, very nice foam packing. And they also had foam on the wheel itself. You saw me take that off earlier. And here we go. It comes with this little cover that I'm gonna keep and I'll keep it in the car because I think this carbon fiber might get hot sometime if it's in the sun. So I'm gonna put this protective cover on it. So let's lose the box. Don't need it anymore. And let's get some close-ups of this wheel. Let's go ahead and get in close and look at the quality of the build. 
All right, so here's the bottom of it. The carbon fiber looks really good. Rich, deep, exposed carbon fibers. And here's the leather going up. It just looks awesome. I love the transitions. It's nice and firm. Of course, at the top, here's my white strip. A little white stripe highlight to help um, make the interior look nice. And down the other side I'll be grabbing quite a bit I guess the steering wheel was brand new the core that I got they told me it was brand new when they got it and this is what it looks like I'll go ahead and put that airbag in the middle and it should be awesome in the car install it all right the installation process for me starts with disconnecting the battery all right I'm disconnecting the battery and I am stabilizing my hood my frunk so it cannot go down there's nothing wrong with the shocks I just don't want any, any helpful people closing it for me or having the wind close it on accident so now this guy we're gonna go ahead and take out the airbag which is held in place by two T30 torque screws from the back. So I'll let you watch me take those loose and remove the airbag now that the battery is disconnected. All right, I'm gonna get the first one here on the top. T30. There's actually more room if you do it from the bottom. And <laughs> heads up, these guys are pretty tight. So, and they're pretty deep. So I'm gonna cheat and use this little crescent wrench to turn my little Torx wrench here to break it loose. They're tight. And the screws are captured so they're going to stay in the steering wheel. I think. <laughs> I think they're captured. We'll see. Alright, so those are both loose now. I know there's going to be a connector <coughs> for the airbag. Looks like that. Okay. And you just pull it out. At least that's what I've done in the past with other cars. I've never done this before. But it looks the same. And I think you just pry it out. So I'm going to do that right now. So if it blows up, you get to see it. Ah! Didn't blow up. All right, so airbag is removed. Now we're just going to uh, take a loose these other connectors. I think this is the horn and also this major nut. So this is what I'm going to try and make sure is perfectly straight. Figure out a way to mark this and uh, make sure that it's straight. So there's a little bracket in the center here held on by what looks like another three T30 Torx bolts, so I think I have to take this off and transfer it to the new wheel as well. The center steering wheel mounting nut is 24 millimeters, so I'll take that off and see if I can figure out how to uh, mark the steering wheel before I take it off. So, 24 millimeter. There we go. I can see the splines. The washer. Get a little magnet and get that out. And see if I can see anything I can mark before I pull that off. Alright, so I'm going to use this little mark right here as my index on the wheel, and I'm just going to mark in alignment with that right on this 
um, the threaded portion. Try and make it straight up and down with that part and that will correspond on both steering wheels. Alright, here we go. So give it a little wiggle. See if it can, oh, oh, here we go. There's no turning back now. There's no turning back now. Out with the old and in with the new. Snake our wires in. Try and get that clock spring. Make sure it stays. And uh, get your wires to come through this hole here. I marked it prior. And let's see if we can get the line up correctly the first on the first try. So yeah. Let's see here. Come on, come on, come on. Come on guys. Let's get in there. Get these wires through. Very nice. And I'm gonna line this this portion right here goes in that square in the hole. Like this. Make sure you don't pinch your wires. Be careful, take your time, pull them through. And then I want to line that up and I want to line up this mark. No, nope. it's a little bit. There we go. So there's our mark. And the wheel looks straight. The wheels are perfectly straight. The marks line up. It looks good. So now we just put our nut on, washing our nut, replace the bracket, replace the airbag and see how it works. 24 millimeter nut. Always like to start nuts and bolts by hand, never with a power tool. That's just asking for strip threads. Alright, so there's a little ground bracket that you're going to have to use a T20 Torx to take this off and transfer it to the new wheel so that you can plug in this wire right here. So this one came off of this location but there's no bracket. So you're going to need to transfer this bracket okay, right there to your new wheel. T20. Alright, I'm going to torque down the center nut. I wasn't going to put some blue Loctite, but then I decided against it. And I've got a variety of different torque specs from different manuals. 33 foot-pounds, 37 foot-pounds for the 997, 40 foot-pounds. So I'm going to do a mechanics feel foot-pounds. I set my torque wrench for 40. I'm going to counter hold because I, I took the, put the key in so that I'm not going to torque against the locking mechanism. You don't want to break your locking mechanism in your steering wheel. So I unlock the steering wheel. And I'm going to hold it and I'm going to go I put this to 30 I put set this to 40 foot pounds and I'm going to do it by feel. So whatever gets tighter 40 or me is how tight it's going to be. So I'm going to just tighten this down and if it gets to 40 and it clicks, we're good. And if it doesn't, and I like the way it feels, then I'm gonna stop. <laughs> because I know about how tight it should feel. getting close. If it gets to 40 then 40 is what I'll be using. Yep, that's 40. That's good. Alright, now all I would do is put in the airbag, hook up the battery, and go for a drive.
All right, she's all installed. Air bike's in. You guys keep an eye on the air bike right now. I'm gonna hook up the battery. Let me know if it explodes. All right, looks good. Let's take it for a drive. Before we head out on this drive, I think it's only right that I switch out these Martini RS straps for some nice silver ones to match our white stripe on the steering wheel. I'll let you watch me do that now. Yeah, I change colors so much on mine, I don't use the adhesive tape to secure them in place. I just uh, leave them in there loose because I like to change colors. Yeah, that's, I think this steering wheel would deserve silvery white instead of martinis. We'll put the martinis back in later. Put it in and voila, good to go. All right guys, we're gonna go for a drive. All right, well, the steering wheel feels like it's straight. That's good. We're gonna try and stay on as smooth uh, streets as possible so that we don't end up jarring the cameras too much. So I do love the way it looks. Blends into the interior very nicely and it really helps lighten things up. I'm glad I went with the white stripe. It goes good with the silver. It goes good with my RS handles. And yeah, this is nice. This is very nice. I like it a lot. Carbon fiber feels really nice and smooth. The steering was a little bit thicker, but not too thick. It's really nice. And we want to go ahead and close this window. I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you guys right now what uh, my answer is to the question, what if you want the feel of leather? Well, first of all, this portion is perforated leather, but if I do want leather, I've got my $400 Porsche driving gloves that are leather. You can put these on and uh, have all the leather feel I can handle. So yeah, no problem. No problem there. But I suspect I'm gonna like the feel of this carbon fiber for quite some time to come. See how it goes around the corner. Man, yeah, that's just nice. There's plenty of grip on the carbon fiber. Look at that. Oh, nice. Nice. I love this little hook right here. You hook your thumb. It's kind of cool too, when you turn the, uh, the wheel, you can kind of index off of it. You can feel where you are. You can feel where you are on the wheel a little bit better than when it's completely round. I, I suspect that I'll probably get used to knowing where I am on the wheel based on the shape. And that's gonna help me actually steer even better, more accurately. This is great, I love it. Look at that. I'm going to do a video too later on driving and shifting. How to shift nice and smooth, where to shift. And you uh, experienced guys, I know, you guys already know. But there are some people out there that don't really understand the dynamics of shifting really smoothly and shifting to where it almost sounds like it's an automatic. You know, we, no, no human can be as fast as an automatic, I know that, but you can shift really nicely, really smoothly, and really quickly if you understand the basics of a rev matching and, you know, kind of putting a little bit of pressure on the stick before you shift, and that'll all be in the other video. This video is about the steering wheel. I'm really happy that I've got a nice smooth road here. Man, this is nice. I hope I get stopped by this light so that we can, yeah, I did. It's gonna give red light. So we'll take off, we'll get a nice smooth 
shifting pattern and we'll get to hold our our steering wheel from shifting through through the gears I can't say enough nice things about this this is really well made I love the leather I love the carbon fiber I never really needed any extra space under here I had no problem getting in and out before I'm kind of short like 510 so I'm not a six footer and I'm actually even though I'm heavy I'm dense so I'm kind of small so I, I fit right in and out no problem in fact I might do a video about how to get in and out of the turbo a Porsche there's a few different ways to get in and out efficiently without scratching up your seats and stuff like that but yeah this this flat portion doesn't really help me because I had no problem before but it sure looks nice oh gosh these uh, carbon fiber the weave is so vivid and nice man nice and thick I love it this is gorgeous and don't jump the gun I will do the rest of this video and tell you guys about my experience um, I think I told you about the experience but I mean tell you uh, how you have to order this if you want to order from the buyer that I got it from on Alibaba it's actually a really great buyer uh, I mean seller I'm the buyer <laughs> really good I'm so excited I can't talk I just really trying to pretend like I'm calm but I am not calm I am stoked this is just really better than I had hoped for honestly it's better than I had hoped it would be I mean this black stitching is just what I ordered the white stripe is just what I ordered you know the leather perforated just what I ordered I'll show you what I'll use to clean the little holes and my perforated leather there's a little setup I got for that of course I love the carbon fiber excuse my boosting there I had a little boost um, not too much but somebody was taking off in front of me so I had to keep up to get keep from getting cut off but look at that that feels great 10 and 2 man I could probably do some really nice data logs for DJ Markski you know 10 and 2 in this and third just let it rip it's downshift to third and just be like do some nice boosting there yeah I love that <laughs> hand back and forth between the steering wheel and the stick is just buttery man yeah if you think you might like a steering wheel like this and you already like your current steering wheel because I like my old steering wheel a lot it was nice but I don't know man you don't know what you're missing sometimes and this is just awesome <laughs> I just love it so I don't want to go on and on I'm gonna go ahead and, and give you guys the information on how to order this if you want to um, the prices that I paid the price has gone up a couple hundred bucks um, but it's still fairly cheap probably like 1300 total so mine was like 11 mine was like 1075 out the door something like that close to that so yeah look at that turning look at that wheel turn that's nice isn't it in fact I think I might go over to the gas station and fill her up because I know I'm gonna be driving a lot lately a lot here in the future because this part right here is really nice and fat fatter than OEM this part and it even has like little lumps little bumps along the back here that are like little finger hold pieces it's not just perfectly smooth it's very slightly dimpled and it just feels great it's just nice I love it love it love it love it there are some people who are asking in uh, some of the forums and on the um, Facebook groups where I got some of the things in here I'll do a tour of the interior of my upgrades some of the mods um, I offer some of the mods other people offer like the steering with somebody else the instrument cluster rings were somebody else um, the RS pull handles are mine uh, my stick shift that's uh, UUC that's somebody else uh, my little phone magnetic is Rinlin 
So I'll go through all the upgrades I've done on the interior to make it really nice in here. I mean, it's really modern, not too modern to where it looks fake, but it's not as boring as they come standard. And I'm happy with it. I'm completely satisfied with the level of upgrade. I might upgrade the stereo at some point because my wife likes music and stuff. I don't care. I'm perfectly content to listen to the engine. But she likes music and stories and all that kind of stuff. And I might do that. But beyond that, I'm totally stoked. I'm completely content. And I'll probably keep this car until I can't drive anymore. So I'll do that. Um, later, and I'll put some in the description links where to get stuff from some of this stuff probably on Amazon Some of it's on my website some of it's on other websites. There's gonna be different Places where you can get stuff. Of course, I'll put where you can get this off Alibaba and uh, Yeah I am completely 100% happy with this. I was a little scared by the process But other than that, I have no complaints great seller great product not too much time i mean total time after we did after i went ahead and got the core for them it was about four weeks and four days so four weeks four days total time after once i purchased this the second time because we did cancel it was three weeks and then i canceled it three weeks in one day and then it was four weeks and four days to actually get the wheel in hand. That's not completed just the design. That is completed and shipped and in my car as of today. Um, I can't say I highly recommend it because of the problem that could arise with customs. But beyond that, outside of that, yeah, I highly recommend the product and I highly recommend the seller. They were very good with communicating with me. They were very good uh, with following the instructions and figuring out what I wanted and actually, you know, delivering what I ordered. Um, the quality of the product is better than I had expected, and I had high expectations. <laughs> um, it, it just knocked it out of the park. There's, there's nothing bad I had to say about it. There's nothing. It was packed very well, overpacked. It was wrapped, then double wrapped, then it had um, styrofoam, then a box. It was perfectly packed for safety. It was zero damage on, on arrival. And here we are. I mean, I'm happy with it. So we go over here and get some gas and drive for the rest of the week.